Myth number one, only high pressure hyperbarics works. We've covered some of these concepts in other videos, so please take a look around. But a summary of this would be all hyperbaric therapy works. How do we know that? We know that because there are gas laws and there are physiologic rules that govern this entire process. And so what we know is that oxygen is critical for cellular function, and we are limited to the amount that we can get because of atmospheric pressure and the percentage of oxygen that we're breathing. So as soon as we increase atmospheric pressure and we change the dynamic of how we're pulling that oxygen from our atmosphere, from our environment, and delivering that increased oxygen to our cells, we are effectively changing physiology. We should absolutely expect changes and benefits as a result of that increased oxygen. So whether that's 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.5, 2.0, 2.4. The number will change the total amount of oxygen, absolutely. The total number will change the dose of oxygen, will change the speed that these effects and benefits show up for a patient, but it doesn't mean that that's the only way to do it. The only way to do it is to increase atmospheric pressure above what you and I are acclimated to, and as soon as that change occurs, we have changes in our physiology. It is certainly not that only hard chambers at high pressure works and lower pressure doesn't. That is not the case.